In March of 2012, the Sacred Heart Pioneers won their third Northeast Conference Championship, capping off one of the most successful seasons in NEC women's basketball history. It was just three short seasons ago, during the 2008-2009 campaign, that the NEC ranked 27th out of 31 conferences in RPI. Last year, the NEC jumped all the way up to 15th, the most successful placing in conference history. No question, NEC women's basketball has progressed significantly to become as competitive now as it's ever been. But how has this happened? What's behind this progression? Well, back at NEC Media Day in Brooklyn, we talked to some of the NEC head coaches to find out. I think it always starts at the top. You know, I, I think uh, administration, I think from a conference standpoint, there's been a more of an emphasis on, on women's basketball and, and, and gaining more momentum. And uh, then I think it trickles down a great deal. I think it trickles down to the head coaches. And I, and I think if you look around this room right now, there's uh, 12 head coaches that are really getting after it recruiting wise and that challenge each other. And then. Uh, and it comes down to the great players. I think the coaches have done a really good job recruiting. We've gotten a lot of really good players in the conference and um, and the coaches, everybody's just really good at what we do. Everybody works really hard. I think everybody has great staffs. I think it's just a matter of hardworking coaches who really have gone after it. They've attracted some great, great players. They're playing some really competitive schedules. I think we've done a good job of going out and scheduling at a higher level. Um, and not only scheduling higher level teams, but scheduling teams that we have a chance to get some W's against. NEC coaches seem to agree that recruiting harder and improved scheduling have both made a major impact in the conference jump in RPI. NEC teams are now not just scheduling bigger league teams, but they're also beating bigger league teams as well. You know, a, lot, a lot of our teams in our league have really gotten stronger. and We've done much better out of conference. Um, and we're playing some better teams and we're beating some of those teams. Just for ourselves, Minnesota last year on the road, um, LIU was able to go out and knock off Oklahoma State. Sacred Heart has gone out and knocked off uh, Auburn. And, and we had Monmouth knock off Villanova. So, and once we're, t we're taking advantage of those wins as a conference and really promoting and the coaches are doing a great job along with their staffs, getting the word out about how competitive the Northeast Conference. In women's basketball, the Northeast Conference is a mid-major on the rise. This year, there are multiple teams on track for 20-plus win seasons, and there are several new teams that have entered the playoff picture. In just a short period of time, the Northeast Conference has already grown to tremendous heights, and there's still a bright future ahead.